Lego has been on a roll with the newer Lego City sets and this one is no different. With a nice sightseeing bus alongside a few minifigures and as it had a bonus I managed to get it for a pretty good price as well. So let's step aboard and see what sights we can see. This set being set number 60407 features an awesome red and black bus powered by electricity which is awesome for those of us who are eco-conscious and is made for sightseeing with a normal bottom deck with space for a mother and pram which is always good and an upper deck with no roof which allows passengers an unrestricted view of the sights of lego city just like sightseeing buses in real life with this bus not only do you get the driver but you also get a few passengers including a pram with a baby as well as some other accessories like a camera and a smartphone there is also a few mechanical parts that show various things around the vehicle as well as a changeable destination board which we'll look at later on so for all 384 pieces of this set the regular the price is set at $24.99 which isn't too bad I guess but I managed to get this bus for £15 from Asda which is an incredible £10 saving. Looking at the box art starting on the front we see the bus which looks to be stationary at a stop with the driver near the front waving at passenger with a pram who looks to be getting on the bus through the double side doors which are open. On the top deck we see another passenger with a camera taking photos of the bustling sights of Lego City like intended. Looking at the top of the box we get a look at the included minifigures which is quite a few we'll take a closer look at these later on in the review turn the box around to the back we see the bus is now in motion with a few more passengers sat on the bottom deck of the bus with one passenger looking to be asleep i mean we've all been there there's also one passenger upstairs again taking photos but this time with a smartphone above this image we see the passenger with the baby pram the pram actually clips into place with a clip on the inside wall of the bus and a designated zone for prams this is followed by another picture showing how you can can take the top deck off the bus to gain access to the lower deck as well as the changeable destination ball which is the main mechanical feature of this set. The final picture on this side shows the engine flap open to show a battery pack which I think is pretty cool especially when more and more bus operators turn to electric buses these days. In the box we find three bags full of parts, 13 stickers which is quite a few but not as bad as the sets I've built and finally instructions for the build. This is what the set looks like built, it looks a little bit narrow but with it being only six stud wide this is to be expected and what well, looks more in line with minifigure scale in my opinion. Other than that this is a really cool bus. It's got two points of entry, one being near the front and I can see being used for passengers boarding, then a set of doors which I can imagine being used for passengers disembarking or showcased in this set a pram or wheelchair to get access onto the bus. However it is quite hard to get the pram in position even with the top deck off which isn't great but you can definitely get in there and clear into place. I was also surprised to see that the driver isn't contained in his cab like in buses in real life but it would be quite hard to achieve this without sizing up the bus to at least 8 studs wide. I do have to say though the stickers including the set are really cool one of the stickers even references to another set. Tell me in the comments which set you think it refers to. As discussed earlier there is a flap at the back that can be opened and shows us the bus's battery pack that powers the electric motors. But another feature of this bus is the destination board which you can change by rolling it. It works quite well and wasn't actually that complicated to build. The build overall wasn't too bad, it wasn't complicated at all which was very nice so it's a really good set in my eyes. On to the minifigures and there is actually five included in this set. Being a Lego City set none of them have the wow factor but for this set they are perfect. First we have a woman with a baby that can be set in this little blue baby stroller which is really cool. This pram is made up of four elements in total allows the mini minifigure to sit comfortably within and to be clipped into place in the bus like so. The baby minifigure features no printing besides that adorable cute little face and the mother features printed on the front and back of the torso and that is all. The next minifigure is the driver who's looking quite smart. In fact if I were to design a minifigure of a sightseeing bus driver this is probably what I'd end up with. He comes with a microphone which honestly I think it's a bit of a hazard considering he's supposed to be driving the bus. Anyway like the previous minifigure figure he features printing on the front and back of his torso and that is all. The next video figure I'm actually a bit jealous of. Why you ask? I mean have you seen this shirt? I simply cannot compete with this shirt. He just laid down with some beige bottoms though. This video figure comes with a 1x2 tire with a print of a smartphone screen which is pretty cool and features printing in the same areas as the last two minifigures being the torso front and back. The next and 
And final minifigure is this photographer lady who, as the name implies, comes with a little Lego camera to take on the bus with her. This minifigure has more features too, with printing on the front and back torso, as well as the front of the legs. They also feature two facial expressions, one of excitement and one that looks like they're asleep, or maybe having a little snooze at least, which I can't say that I haven't had a little snooze on the bus before. So what are my thoughts on this set overall? Well, I think it's a really cool set with some cool features and also looks amazing. The colour scheme of this bus is really cool and actually reminds me of the sightseeing buses I've used in cities like Liverpool and Edinburgh. The mini figures aren't amazing but if this is your first ever Lego City set then it provides a few minifigure elements which are interchangeable as well as accessories to bring them to life. For $24.99, I don't think the price is too bad. And I definitely wouldn't say it's a bargain at that price. But if you do spot it for less than that, I definitely recommend it. What do you guys think of this Lego sightseeing bus? Does it remind you of certain cities like it does for me? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm really interested to hear your thoughts. Until next time though guys, take care of yourselves and I'll see you guys in the next video.